hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well and keeping safe i want to start this video and um, i was in the kitchen i want to do some little change in the kitchen but not today so i was just trying to figure out on the things i'm going to declutter and how i'm going to swap some things because i feel my kitchen is kind of declutter it's kind of cluttered like it's there are so many things and i want to get rid of some of them because i no longer use I will only do the changes if I want more, but if I get a good house that will fit all my things, I will surely do the arrangement in the new kitchen. But for now, let's use this because it's what it's available. I had to start by folding these shopping bags that had just come with them from outside so that I could place them back to the right position. doesn't mean to be happy cause it looks like we all don't know last half full or empty man we just put them on the show try to look to the heavens to tell us things that we beg to know like what did the song mean i always place all the extras in this last drawer so i just wanted to clean it before i return everything back Clearly you can just look and tell that these things are so many and that is the main reason why I want to do some few changes. I'm writing my weekly expenditure so that I can gauge myself if I'm within the budget or I have overspent this time. And this is what I normally do by the way. It actually gives you a clear picture of at the end of the month you can tell how much you've spent if you are within your budget or maybe you went extra and it actually helps you to save so kindly comment down below if you always work with a budget or you are this one person who just buy anything anyhow and why if you work with a budget why and maybe if you are this one person who just buy anything evo evo also why because i'm this one person who is always bad when it comes to impulse buying so i prefer having a plan this is later in the evening and i want to wash these tomatoes so that i can blend them because i just realized that 
most of them are going bad and i don't know why i don't know if it's the season or if it's me who i don't know how to preserve i don't know please let me know in the comment section if you are dealing with such kind of tomatoes ama how are you going about them i felt it would be better if i share with you how to preserve such kind of tomatoes but first i had to soak my ukwaju because i want to prepare some snack for my son before he comes from school I have here some onions and majority of them zina zina like they are kind of spoiled but again has just spoiled they look this way where is another one they look this way so there's a trick I, I learned from Jerusha and she said like she once told me ziki wahibi instead of throwing them away because you can imagine throwing all these and see zime zime the sana she told me you put them in a pot cooking pot you add some water and salt then you peel the outer cover once the water has boiled and you blend them this way they will stay for like three to five days a maximum uh, so that's that's exactly what i want to do i want to to exactly do what i've told you am i even repeating like i want to do that i also want to prepare some bajia for my son i've soaked some ukwaju i want to tag you along with me so let's proceed i first had to fetch some water in a sulfuria then add some small amount of salt in it then chopped all the rotten part in the tomatoes placed all of them in the sulfuria so that they could boil fast before proceeding to the next step Unfortunately, I had run out of gas, so I had to use the small cylinder.
For my paste, I'm going to use some little bit of chapati flour, some salt, some coriander leaves and food color. So please comment down below and let me know how you make your mixture because I'm not a pro when it comes to making such paste and bajias to be specific. And I'm also open to correction. Maybe if you feel there's somewhere I went wrong, please let me know in the comment section. At this point my tomatoes were ready so I had to remove them from the gas so that I can place a pan for the oil to cook as I proceed to peeling off the cover. When I'm up through the night I can't turn down the noise Say all the words out of my mind about who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe you can't get it right. Remember the days I let slip away, they were simple at times. I then went straight into peeling off the outer cover and I had to use the tongs because the water was very very hot and also the tomatoes were very hot. So after here I will then place all of them in a blender and blend them directly like you don't have to add any amount of water because the tomatoes are very very tender. Once the tomatoes will cool down you are free to place them in the freezer. Please note that you don't have you are not supposed to place them while hot because they will automatically go bad. So place them in the freezer to be on a very safe side rather than in the fridge. I'm still on my way, closer each time to where I belong. I'm still rolling the dice, praying sometimes. I don't last that long. I'm losing my faith, I'm walking away from watching you all along. I will have to let the paste to cool down before I store it back. I then had to do these dishes because I don't see the sense of piling them and if you've been here, you can clearly tell that, that I'm this one person who will always do dishes while cooking. No, no. 
off the wall on your shoulder Child, don't forget who you are Don't lose your head or your heart I bet my life on your stars You'll be dancing, dancing on the moon My bajias were ready so I was just trying to separate them so that they can cool down. I'll then proceed to making my ukwaju and at this point the ukwaju had actually soaked so well. So I just cut some raw onions and tomatoes, add, added the mixture to the onions and tomatoes, added some few salt, then drained all the water and that is how it was. I mixed the ukwaju water in the onions and tomatoes that I just cut because my son didn't want the raw onions and tomatoes and I also added some little bit of salt. So guys that is it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Let's meet on my next one. Bye.